This is CPM Calculus Chapter 3, number 176. Find the following limits quickly. All right, quickly here is a keyword because we know that if we're going to have to multiply this out, we're going to have to basically multiply polynomials five times, right? The quick way to do it is we know the power rule, right? But these do not look like the power rule. Right, we know how to use the power rule to find the derivative. Right, so this is a big hint right here, and this is explaining why that's the hint. So let's go ahead and look at the definition of the derivative. So given f of x, we know f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Okay, so this is just the background. How is that looking like what we have in part a? Well, here we have the limit as h, h approaches 0, the same as we have here. Here we have h in the denominator. We're subtracting two things, right? Subtract. So this might be f of x, right? And this might be f of x plus h. So let me take this away and let's try it. Okay, so if f of x equals x minus, I mean, x to the fifth right here, what is f of x minus h? Well, that's just going to be plug it in where x is, right? x minus h to the fifth. And yes, it does match. So we know this then, <clears throat> like, let me just put this in a bubble, right? Because then we know the limit as h approaches zero of this thing is equal to just the derivative with respect to x, of x to the fifth, right? And what's the derivative of x to the fifth? Well, we can do the, the power rule quickly, right? Bring down that 5x subtract 1, right? That is the derivative. And this is also the limit as h approaches 0 of this expression here, OK? So the, to do it quickly, you just kind of have to see the pattern of this being h of x here. Now in part b, let's test it. f of x, I mean f of x in, over here. If f of x is 2 square root of x, what is f of x plus h? Right? Well, we're going to plug in wherever we see x, x plus h. Yes, it matches. So that means we're just trying to find the derivative. So this is equal to, right, the limit is equal to the derivative. I'm just going to say d or dx of What's f of x? 2 to the square root of x, right? Well, we can write this with fractional exponents, right? 2 to the square, two square root of x is just x to the power of 1 half, right? So we can go ahead and find the derivative of this using the power rule. Bring down 1 half, multiply by 2, times x to the 1, one half power minus 1. And that's just equal to these cancel out and become 1, x to the negative 1 half power. All right. So the quick way, again, is to just go ahead and look at this limit and see, well, this looks like the definition of the derivative with f of x being here, x to the fifth, and 2 square root of x. All right. This ends CPM Calculus Chapter 3, number 176.